What is up guys, today we're going to be talking about my favorite smartphones of 2019 that I have reviewed. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to review, you know, every phone. We're, we're a small channel, as you can see. Uh, we just did uh, 10,000 this year, and we actually had, I think, 11,000 now. So the channel actually started to grow uh, this year tremendously, and I want to thank you guys uh, for getting me to that 10,000 subscriber mark and up. And I uh, really appreciate the likes, comments, and all that. So I really want to thank you. Um, as you can see, I don't have all my phones phones because as you guys know I think what two months back I actually got a lot of my phones stolen I think the only one that didn't get stolen was the OnePlus 7 Pro I didn't have insurance so I had to you know hustle to get these little phones that I have uh, but I still have footage of those old phones so let's go ahead and talk about it alright so let's talk about the best battery performer uh, no brainer is going to be the Galaxy A20 this phone has been extremely impressive it did almost 10 hours of screen on time uh, absolutely nuts uh, with a four 4,000 milliamp battery so that just goes to show the Samsung uh, UI and uh, you know their optimization for this phone to be able to get it uh, you know almost 10 hours of battery life extremely impressive and this is overall an excellent phone for 200 bucks you get really good cameras a good build quality uh, nice super AMOLED display it really is a nice phone you have expandable storage this thing is just an absolute beast for uh, the price I really love it Alright, so next is my favorite compact phone, and that is going to the Galaxy S10e. Uh, this year, um, this phone is just excellent. If you saw the blind smartphone test, uh, this one actually made it to the last round from uh, MKBHD. That's how awesome these cameras are in here. It's got an excellent camera. Uh, the build quality is very nice in the hand. You have a 5.8 inch AMOLED display with a little uh, punch hole on here. And I just really love this phone. It's just awesome. It's very fast. You can play the latest games. Sometimes I prefer playing games on a smaller phone uh, so people always ask me why you know I like smaller phones but sometimes I just like to play games it's kind of easier if you have smaller hands but an awesome phone in every category runner-up would be the iPhone 7 so this is a awesome phone I got it from 137 on eBay this is a great compact phone as well I like to use iOS especially if I have friends that like to FaceTime and iMessage even though I mostly use Android it's nice to be able to do that with a you know cheap little iPhone that I can carry around uh, the only thing about this is the design is a little bit dated, um, but it still has excellent cameras, very fast, 4.7 inch display, so if you want an extremely compact phone, this is good as well. And just an overall, just a still a really great phone, it has the latest version of iOS still, very impressive. Uh, so overall, I really like this phone. Now I want to talk about my favorite speaker, so you guys know I love doing uh, speaker tests and I love speakers in smartphones, and uh, the G7 is just an amazing speaker. Um, so I think the iPhone 11, if you guys remember that one, that had some excellent speakers as well, but with the G7 it was sounded just as good, but it doesn't have a dual speaker, but it sounded just as good. And get this, when you uh, listening to music on the G7, you can feel like the bass hits when you hold the phone and I just really like that effect you can't get that effect on any other phone that I've tried this year so I really love that you can actually feel the bass and stuff like that it's just very cool uh, feeling so I really love that so excellent speaker one of my favorites uh, still to this day alright so let's talk about my favorite camera and that is going to the Note 8 Pro now I know you guys are like what did you review the Pixel 4 and the iPhone 11 I reviewed those and they have excellent cameras and yes they are better than the Note 8 Pro um, but this is 200 bucks and this is actually up there with both those cameras and the Pixel 4 really it takes the I guess the best photos in and more you know uh, low light conditions than the Note 8 Pro a little bit but when I say that these are neck and neck uh, with the Pixel 4 and the Note 8 Pro they really are uh, neck and neck it's a very good uh, smartphone camera now the thing about the pixel 4 why I didn't pick it is because it had no ultra wide camera which I thought was stupid um, so and I, and I paid almost 800 bucks for it and it just felt like it was missing a lot of stuff this actually has a quad camera setup the macro camera is actually very fun to play with uh, so I really enjoyed that and like I said the photos are very high detail good dynamic range uh, it does pretty uh, well in low light as well now of course it's not going to be as good as an iPhone 11 that uh, we reviewed or the Pixel 4 in overall image quality uh, when you compare it in certain lighting conditions and all that stuff but like I said for 200 bucks it's competitive and that's what I love about this 200 bucks versus you know 700 800 bucks 
that you have to give respect to this phone. All right, so next is my favorite design of the year, and that's going to the Bold M1. That is an awesome looking phone. I really loved it. Very underrated, very minimalist uh, design. Only thing I wish is it came in different colors, but I love the uh, premium feel for 200 bucks, the glass back, very simple. I love that they put the logo at the bottom and it's just pretty much like a blank phone. I just really love the design on that phone. And uh, the front uh, of the phone, you have a beautiful no-notch display, beautiful AMOLED display, pop-up camera. It's just a very nice-looking phone for 200 bucks. You're not going to find a lot of phones that look as good as that phone, and it keeps a very sophisticated look. Uh, so, you know, just very impressive. I really love uh, the Bold M1's design. Next is going to be the best display. So, my favorite display of the year. It's going to be the Mi 9T. Yes, it's not going to be uh, the OnePlus 7 Pro. The Mi 9T for 300 bucks was just impressive. It had just as good as a panel as the OnePlus 7 Pro. And no, it wasn't 1440p like the uh, 7 Pro, but it also didn't have that curved glass like the 7 Pro. Uh, that's why I have the 7 Pro as my runner up for best display, but not uh, my favorite display. The Mi 9T had an excellent AMOLED display, 1080p. It was very nice. And I'm going with the quality of the panel. When I say the quality of those panels were almost alike for uh, you know a flagship versus a kind of like budget mid-ranger, they were almost alike and you don't have to deal with the curved glass now I like the curved glass on the 7 Pro don't get me wrong it's just that it doesn't add anything when you're watching videos now when you're just holding it as you can see it looks beautiful and it looks like just uh, you know pretty much a screen uh, but when, it's, when you're watching videos you know it's like it's kind of unnecessary for it to be curved it doesn't really add anything to the viewing experience now it is my runner up the OnePlus 7 Pro it has beautiful colors uh, one of my favorite displays of the year like I said but you know when you're watching videos the curved display you know it doesn't add anything I prefer a flat display over a curved one and plus the Mi 9T is like you know uh, what is it 300 bucks now and it's gonna go even cheaper this year. The next category is going to be software experience and the OnePlus 7 Pro was a straight up beast. Oxygen OS is one of my favorite uh, OS's and it's just awesome. Um, I, the 90 Hertz has a lot to do with it but they actually update these phones very fast. I got an update even today and um, it's just very fast. It's pretty much kind of like stock Android but they add a lot of customization options uh, to this phone to be able to get it to look and feel how you want it to and uh, yeah I just really love Oxygen OS. Like I said they updated it. It got Android 10 in a very good timely matter even before you know the Galaxy phones and stuff like that so Oxygen OS one of the best software experiences uh, that I have used. I think my runner up for that would be EMUI uh, on the Y9 Prime. That was an awesome phone. I really love the icons and it has Google Now. That's one of the things that this is missing. But I really, really enjoy EMUI. Um, but the 7 Pro is definitely uh, the way to go with the uh, software experience. All right, and the last one is the best budget smartphone for 2019 that I have uh, used. And that's actually going to be, I'm going to be a punk, guys. I'm sorry. But it's going to be a tie between the Bow M1 and the Note 8 Pro. It's extremely hard to pick one over the other. I kept thinking about it. And it's just very, very hard. So let me just go over this real quick. The Note 8 Pro has better cameras than the Bow M1, in my opinion. Better build uh, quality. I don't, I don't like how it looks over the Bow M1, but I think it's a, kind of like a heavier phone. I think most people will will say it's more premium, um, just because it's heavier and it just feels like a little bit more solid. But like I said, I prefer the look of the Bow M1. But when you turn it around. You have the water drop notch, which, as you guys know, I'll take uh, you know a full screen phone over a water drop notch any day. Um, but it's got that; it's an IPS display. The Bolt and one has an AMOLED display um, with no notch. And here's another thing: the Note 8 Pro is just a beast in game, and it plays every game on high. Fortnite, PUBG, Call of Duty, whatever. The G90T is a beast. The Bolt and one has a Helio P70, so it's not going to be able to play everything on high. So that's why I kind of go back and forth because I personally love a you know no notch display. I'll take that because I don't game on my phone. For most of you guys, you guys are gaming on your phone, and this display is a good display. It's an IPS 1080p uh, high PPI whatever I just would never pick this over the bowl and one's display that's what keeps it from me like even recommending it to people I have to be like what are you into are you into gaming or are you into watching videos so I'm gonna say it's a tie uh, in that area uh, because the display is so important to me but 
it is it does beat the uh, bolden one in a lot of uh, areas so when we get it back uh, I'm gonna do the comparisons just to be able to show you guys a little more uh, so you can see what I'm talking about but if I had the money I would still go with the bolden one if I only had 200 bucks uh, so thanks for watching this video I already know you guys are gonna have something to say so let me know and I will catch you guys in the next one